Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with day 29 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, Series 12. And today is a two-page layout by Laura Cameron Whitfler. I think that's how you say it. And I have a plethora of pictures. Um, and I'm going to do the two-page spread uh kind of different in the aspect of they are going to go next to each other in the book and they are coordinating it's two different days but that's okay and um i'm just going to make the papers that i have work for me so i'm using splendid splendid by Paige evans i have a ton of paper but pretty much just one of every paper i've got chipboard i've got ephemera i've got puffies which oddly enough i pull some out to use and never use them because i have enough ephemera already pulled out that seems to do the trick so um you know okay <laughs> so i've got my papers my ephemera and my pictures and this two page layout so let's see how this goes so these two papers coordinate, of course the whole daggone collection coordinates, but the flowers that are on the right side are the flowers that are coming out from the little um, typewriter on the bottom. And so I thought that that was going to work best for me because there, I already used the one other paper that's similar to this one that says the story. I think I did have two of those because I had a paper pad and a project pad and some loose papers. You would think I'd have more than that. The only other paper I found that I had duplicates were very, very bold patterns, like more so than these florals, and it wasn't going to work with my pictures. So I decided I was just going to do this because this gives me some space down here on the bottom of the left layout to do some journaling because I love to journal when it comes to universal yum boxes. And if you don't know what that is, it's where you can order these boxes and you get snacks from around the world. You get a new country every month or however often you order. And we started doing them in 2019 and continued to do it safely through the pandemic. My sister would split the foods up and we would do Zoom calls and still try our new foods. And so she had a bunch of boxes left over from where we decided we would take a break because we'd been doing it for over two years and so, but she still had a few boxes left over. So we have been um, doing them when we get a chance. So she took two to the beach with us this year. And so we went to Thailand and, uh-oh, I just dropped something. Where else did we go? Oh, Poland. Thailand and Poland, I think. Yes, I have the little pamphlets here. I like to use those for reference because in the notes that I write later, it'll be about what we thought was our favorite food, what we thought was gross, what, you know, what scores some of the things had, um, things like that. So I usually will write um, a lot more details when it comes to these just because we were doing them so often and it was a really um, fun way for us to get together. And so I made scrapbooks for everybody who participated, like my mom, my sister, my aunt, that had pictures. And I would take these funny pictures of everybody eating them. So, of course, my daughter and my niece did not get to go on the trip with us. So I have flat pictures of them. And so I took these silly pictures. Um, the very first one furthest to the left, I my best friend is holding up a cookie in front of my niece's picture. And I took a picture of that. So that's why there's some kind of weird glare on that one and the one at the top uh, because it is a laminated picture. <laughs> so, um, and then, um, so, you know, if, if we had a good time and some of the snacks were delicious and some of them were gross and that's just the way they always are. So the um, pictures are all matted and I matted a lot of them in that, in this yellow paper and then I double matted a couple of them and incorporated some of the purple, some of the yellow, and some of the teal. Um, I didn't bring any more pink in than I had to. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> but um, I just kept flip-flopping back and forth as I would find things. I've got some chipboard. I, I pretty much took all the food items except for things like tea. Um, 
that were in this blended collection and I had quite a bit left as you can tell that's why I didn't end up pulling anything from the ephemera or from the puffies because there was so much that I had pulled from the sticker books um, lemons and oranges blueberries uh, cherry pie cake all these different things and so I used those to put all around the page because it's food did we have cake no uh, well actually I think we did <laughs> <laughs> some kind of a cake but you know even though we weren't eating things that were necessarily fruit these fruits or anything it's still food and I'm fine with that um, I'm not sure how I would ever use as many oranges and lemons are in this collection so I was happy to get them used up and on this layout because I think it looks cute um, so I've got the sketch at the bottom, which is kind of weird. I've never put it down there, but it was the only place it would fit because I was working so high on my table. Um, so on the left layout, there's a title in a big circle in the top left corner. And so where I have that little, the banners that were already on the paper, it says things to remember noted. So since I'm going to do journaling kind of down that side, that'll be perfect. And then there's another like doily looking thing in the bottom right corner of that layout. And that's where the little thing that says the story with the typewriter is. And then on the other side, it's got circles in the opposite places. And so I've got oranges and lemons and all the different things. So I pretty much stuck to the concept of this layout for sure. Um, especially like where my picture placement is on the um, left layout. The right one I had to alter a little because I did not want to trim down my four by six of my son and my Neff pup packs because that is probably one of the sweetest pictures. Uh, and that's my son's hand feeding him one of the Yumbox snacks. At, his parents had said, okay. Um, and so then he leaned down and took that sweet picture of him and the dog and so i had to add, add that in that's pax's thankful face for letting him have a yummy snack <laughs> from uh poland <laughs> because the left layout is um the thailand food and the right layout is from poland so normally when i do the documenting for these i use the colors from those countries when i did um uh, the book of just yum universal yum but these layouts are actually going to go in my beach book and so they can be all bright and colorful and all the things so i am super excited about how this layout turned out um, i do come in and add a couple of animal enamel accents at the end just to give a couple little um, dots here and there um, of the black there's not a lot of black in this collection but just enough um, but I think that, you know, overall it turned out really cute and I got to document these fun pictures from, um, our trip and trying more interesting foods. I'm trying to remember, I feel like the Poland box was a lot tastier than the Thailand box. Um, it's usually the sweets we like the most <laughs> in any country. Um, but you know, <laughs> But it was a lot of fun, and I'm really glad to get to use some of the Splendid collection up because I have so much of it, and I hadn't been using it because it's a lot of florals, and I normally don't use a lot of florals. And I, I say that all the time, which makes me think that I use more florals than I think I do. <laughs> um, so anyway, I had to pull out my second set of stickers from the sticker sheet to finish off this little extra scallopy thing going on down here. I pulled that purple scallop off of the chipboard and then decided I would put the little orange and lemon slices on the top. So it's kind of like a second scallop and I thought that was cute. So there is the sketch again, and now I'm going to bring it closer so you can see it. Um, I did put that second typewriter on here, and it says thinking of you. Since the girls weren't with us, I thought that was appropriate to put that up there. Um, and then um, I put like super duper because those little uh, wafer cookies were super delicious. I put no on that last picture with my best friend and her paper towel because that was a nasty old grody whatever it was was not tasty at all so but um and she loved these chips henceforth the thumbs up 
So I hope that you all enjoyed this. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow for the very last day of 30 Days of Sketches. Oh my gosh. I hope you're checking out the playlist. Um, and like I said, I hope I see you again tomorrow. Hope you get a chance to get to do something you love with someone you love. And happy scrapping.